Hello everybody, really welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have another paper squishy for you. I was intending to bring a normal memory foam type squishy, but it's been taking me all day. I still have white paint on my hands. So hopefully that's gonna be ready for you tomorrow instead. And I thought I would hop on today with just a, another paper squishy just to do today's upload because I'm trying to do everyday uploads at the moment to keep you guys busy. As I know, we're all stuck inside and well, at least we should be. Staying inside, staying safe and staying healthy as much as possible possible so in my last video i've been asking for people to leave me video requests for paper squishies that sort of stuff any type of videos you want to see um in the comments and aaron manan said can you please make a jumbo rainbow nutella paper squishy and that's exactly what i have done today i asked last time if we could get the video to 500 likes and at the moment it's standing at 823 which i'm so happy with i am trying to make the type of videos which gain the most likes so if you like paper squishies then be sure to like this one and i'll be sure to make another paper squishy video very soon i'm kind of doing it on the likes ratio so the more like the type of video gets likes on the video the more i'm likely to do it again so yeah hopefully you enjoy this video and i'm gonna get straight on into how i made it so to make my paper squishy i just took an a4 piece of paper and folded it in half a lot of people have been asking me what type of paper that you need to use this and honestly it's just regular printer paper just from my printer it comes in like one of those big blocks and i just take a couple sheets out at a time and use one at a time basically i folded it in half and used a gray marker and the fine liner side to mark out the rough kind of shape of the nutella jar and then i started coloring it in i started with the red for the lid and then went down through the rainbow leaving a white gap in the middle. So the last colour I'm using here looks really dark blue on my screen right now but actually in real life it is like um, a purple, just a regular purple colour. I don't know why that's coming out blue um, but it is purple in real life so yeah there's that. Um, for the Nutella logo I just used the fine liner side of a dark green pen and then like a lime green and I just sketched that out making sure that the N was in the darker shade just to kind of like coordinate with the actual Nutella logo which I think the N is in the black and then the rest is in the red I don't know but as this was green and a rainbow one I decided it to do it in like two different tones just to shake it up a little bit so I just did the outline with the fine liner side and then coloured it in with the coordinating colours using the brush side of the pen so these pens i actually got from amazon um i know that they've sold out at the moment so i can't really link them but i'll try and put some like you know alternative ones that i find on there they're just um called like a dual tip brush marker something like that just with a fine liner at the end so i used that same lime color and made another stripe and then i went ahead and popped a little face on the top because to be honest i like to put a face on everything and this was going to be no exception so i just sketched out the kind of face shape that i wanted using a normal biro pen and then filled it in with a permanent marker as i find the permanent marker works best like when you're coloring in because if you use like a black felt tip over this it will like start to seep in to the previous bit but the permanent marker one doesn't leak so yeah that's always a great tip there to put on some highlights on the jar and the eyes and like on the lid i just used a white posca paint pen just to add those bits back in and i really really like how that turned out and then curved off the edges down at the bottom cut out the rest of the shape and then started taping it up so to tape up my squishy, all I do is I just lay the tape flat, fold around the edges, lay the tape flat, fold around the edges, just to get a nice, neat taping finish. You want to make sure that all like sides, edges and everything like that are completely taped and sealed so that no air will get through. And then once you're kind of almost done, you want to leave one edge free so that you're able to stuff your squishy. So 
So I actually left the back of my squishy completely plain just because I was too lazy to colour it in but you can do that like the same as the front if you want to, tape over it, make it nice and pretty. To stuff my paper squishy I just used some offcuts of foam that I used to make the other squishy that I said about earlier and then alternated that with toy stuffing. I then just finished it off by taping that shut just using some more clear tape along the top. So this is obviously how the paper squishy has turned out. It is a jumbo one. I've done it kind of as big as I could with a four piece of paper folded in half, um, but it's much bigger than a normal Nutella jar. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it's come out with the rainbow and stuff. I kind of just improvise on putting the logo still on there, as well as kind of keeping to the sort of rainbow kind of thing going on. Really happy with it. I was really lazy, didn't bother doing the back. If you want to do the back, you can. I stuffed this with layers of like off cuts of foam, which were from that squishy that I've been making all day um and then just layers of toy stuffing as well um squishiness wise it's not bad it's a nice big one if you hear all that air are you ready I really like it because it's so cute just love that face on it but yeah it's nice and chunky nice and big in the hands and I'm really really happy with how it has come out so I want to say a huge thank you to Arian for um, requesting this video today if you did enjoy it please do give it a like and I will see you very soon for another video bye